That's right, everybody. Remember in my earlier view, I told you I wasn't going to make any effort in getting a DLTM Ultimate Optimus Prime. Well, ever since these particular figures started filling the shelves in my local Walmart, I had a slight change of heart. Uh, just like I did with uh, RLTF Supreme Devastator. But enough about that. Anyway, here he is, finally, um, standing uh, taller than the leader class Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime and the uh, Sentinel uh, Prime. Yeah, this, um, I was uh, expecting more from this uh, particular figure when I, when, when I first bought him, but, um, He's not as bad as I thought he was, but he could have been better. I mean, uh, his um, his individual robot mode's transformation is kind of backwards. And um, I decided to leave his wings out to give him more of the Armada Prime look. Yeah, this is not a, a full review, by the way. This is just a, a video update. Yeah, I, I would do a full review on this uh, Ultimate Optimus Prime, but nowadays, audiences are just getting tougher and tougher. I know a lot of my uh, YouTube friends just closed their accounts recently, but I don't know if it's the reason because of that or, or not, but... Yeah, I know I haven't been doing any uh, video re reviews myself because I haven't been getting enough subscribers or friends or comments or whatever. I don't know what the deal is, but... I think, uh, <laughs> uh, I think that Onyx is getting more pickier than usual. If Hasbro made a, a perfect Transformer that didn't need anything, didn't need much to be done about, they'd be fussy about that as well. But that's not what this video review is about. It's about uh, what I got here so far. Yeah, I, I don't want to spread his wings and give him the the. Butterfly fairy look, because um, I I'm just making this this particular video update short as best as I can. So he's got his um, mech tech weapon uh, poured in the back of his uh, his his armor, his uh, his trailer armor, whatever you want to call it. So. Not much expected from the electronics, though, but I thought the figure itself was going to be electronic, but just like a leader class ultimate, no, 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 leader class Dark of the Moon Bumblebee, his, his mech tech weapon is the only thing that's electronic, and the, you just uh, attach to the figure itself, just like you do with the, the ultimate Optimus Prime here. Yeah, he is a pretty ginormous figure. Technically, I like him better than the RLTF Supreme Devastator. Because, uh... The Constructons themselves can't transform, which is, uh, <laughs> Kind of ridiculous. But I can't think of any other word besides that. But you get the idea. So... Yeah, I'm just showing you uh, what I got in the meantime before I decide to do any full review on this uh, Dark and Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime. Yeah, well, if I get the time, I'll 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 do one, but that depends on what you want. If you want want to request the video for you, uh, just uh, post a comment or or don't. That depends on what what you how you feel about it. Alright, so I'm going to cut it from here. I just um, thought you'd get a kick out of what I got recently here. Okay, well, this has been my latest video update on the uh, Ultimate Optimus Prime. I, I will do a full review on him eventually, depending on what I get from my fellow audiences, if they, if they are not interested on the stand. Alright. 
In the meantime, this is Web2 signing out. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost.